everyone welcome to my channel today we're going to be installing these 12 inch Dean Speed Titus handlebars on my Indian Scout 60 let's roll the video you think you know me Burn it down! all right everybody before we go ahead and start the install on this uh, I've already taken my windshield off I took my headlight off because you're gonna need to be able to get to these three wiring harnesses in here um, you're going to have to replace, I have a 2 inch uh, riser already on here, so I'm actually going to have 14 inches of uh, height on my handlebars. I'm going to, I already took, like I said, the windshield off. I'm going to have to go ahead and take some of my accessories and my mirrors and everything off so I can get to some of the screws. But uh, some of the things you're going to need, obviously the handlebars. Um, I got extra uh, heat shrink tubing just in case I need it. Dean sent this wiring uh, thing to hold the wiring down. I've got some soldering material and of course I got the, the soldering iron here um, I'm using this kit for the wiring. It's Nam Oops, the wind's blowing. Uh, it's NAMS custom cycle products and they're actually a Pennsylvania company, which is nice and you don't have to have this necessarily this just makes it easier but this kit comes with instructions to make it easier uh, all the wiring is already color coded. It has three factory style connectors and heat shrink tubing and one long thing of heat shrink tubing. I am using the Avon uh, memory phone grips. Actually, had, this is one of the first things I did to my Scout 60 when I got it from the dealership. I had them put these on. I'm going to go ahead and put a brand new set on today. I also have a little brake bleeder kit. It's got a, it's just a tube. It's got a valve in there to keep the air from going back in when you start bleeding the brakes. Um, I have the LA Choppers extended brake line. I believe I went with four inches longer. I could be wrong on that. And I also have the LA Choppers uh, clutch cable because I think I had to go quite a bit longer on that. Um, just some of the tools you're going to need. You're going to need your Allen wrenches, uh, heat gun, some regular wrenches, and of course, like I said, soldering iron when you start the wiring, um, soldering material. You're going to need a Torx bit. I don't remember what size that is exactly, but it's the number two in my kit. But I'm going to go ahead and start taking some of the accessories off now. Some of it's pretty self-explanatory, so I probably won't show everything that I do, just because it's going to make the video really long if I do that. All right, all my accessories are off. I went ahead and snipped off as many of the wire ties and stuff too. I left these on the handlebars for now. Uh, my plan of attack is to start right here. I've already pulled uh, one of the harnesses. Uh, with the wiring kit that I ordered too, they have pretty clear instructions on how to do the wiring. But you're gonna, you got a left harness, a center harness here. It's a black one with a clear colored yellowish clear. And then there's a right harness. There's also like wiring stuff in here too. This one you won't have to worry about necessarily. This is your turn signals and stuff. So you won't have to worry about any of that. But I'm going to go ahead and unplug these now. Uh, my plan of attack is, and I don't know if I can do it yet. I've never seen anybody do it this way. I'm actually going to try and pull the clutch cables and the brake lines with the bars all at the same time. Obviously you got to loosen everything up. Uh, one of the big things is with the brake fluid, you want to make sure you don't get that brake fluid on any of your paint because that will destroy the paint on your bike. So I'm going to go ahead and pull all this off now. I'm starting off with the uh, clutch first. I went ahead and loosen the adjuster there. Uh, this rubber sleeve here covers up where your other adjuster is for your cable. I'm going to go ahead and loosen those up. And then what I have to do is just bring it back up to the handlebars. All right, everybody, just to let you know, it's actually easier once you get everything loosened up under the clutch on that side to take it off the lever, and then I'll have to feed the wire actually down that way. But we're gonna go ahead and fish that out now. Make sure you take a good picture of where everything goes to when you're doing the uh, reassembly. Uh, best thing to do is get everything back to where it was. All right, I got the clutch cable all done and pulled out. You actually have to pull it out through that way. Fairly simple. Uh, next step, I'm actually going to work on the brake lines here now. Um, I got a bucket already. I also forgot to mention, I'm using Indian DOT4 brake fluid right from the factory. All right, everybody, while I'm trying to get some of the brake fluid to still come out after I unhooked it, I went ahead and you know, unplugged the rest of the wiring harnesses and pulled them out. Easiest way to get them out 
is to go ahead and loosen up this bolt so you can move your headlight bucket around a little bit because I know I had a hard time this thing's pretty big so it's a hard time getting it out of there but I'm still working on getting the brake fluid and everything kind of drained out uh, the next step is going to be to fish the actual brake line out from behind here and then I'm going to go ahead and pull the handlebars and the speedometer off all right, I let it kind of drain out naturally. I pumped it a few times. I just let the reservoir sit here open. We're going to go ahead and get this off here in a minute, but make sure you protect your tank too, especially the next part. I'm probably going to have to get something a little heavier to throw over the tank because I'm going to be pulling the bars off and the speedometer is actually going to stay there. All right, everybody got the old brake cable off. I end up feeding it down through again, much like I did the, the uh, clutch cable. Uh, you're not going to be able to reuse this rubber, here it is, this rubber grommet that held uh, the cable, the brake cable over here. I am going to try and reuse the hook part that actually hooks it to the triple trees. But probably what I'll do is I'll bend it around there or something. I'll have to see if I got another rubber grommet maybe. But this grommet, you won't be able to take it up over the uh, banjos or whatever they're called. Uh, just too big. You'll end up destroying it. It's just not worth the effort. Now the next step is going to be to pull the bars off the bike. All right, everybody, the handlebars and everything are off. Spacers and the bolts are back over there. Uh, like I said, make sure you cover up your tank, protect it. Uh, I'm resting the speedometer on here right now. As, all, as you all know, the Ona Scout, the speedometer is actually what holds the uh, handlebars on. So... This is going to be a good time for me to go through and clean up some of the stuff I can't get to, too, when the handlebars are on. But I'm actually going to put the new handlebars on. All right, everybody, I opted not to use the uh, two-inch spacers that I had on there before. So if anybody's actually interested in buying them, go ahead and message me at Austin Ranger on Instagram or email me. But these bars are pretty tall as they are, so I opted to just pre-fit and get them on there just the way they are. I really like the looks of these. Now it's just a matter of getting all the wiring and everything done and getting the brakes bled and get the clutch cable on. Let's get to work on that. All right, everybody, the good news is I didn't actually have to do any wiring at this at all. Since I didn't bother using the spacers, I actually had enough wire with the stock wiring harness. So I just put the extra wiring and the spacers away. If somebody decides they want them later on, they can have them. Uh, I got my grips and everything on. I still gotta do clutch cable still got to do brake cable and i got my gps on there i wanted to get that lined up perfect where it needs to go for my long trip to uh vam 21 or whatever my next trip ends up being when you watch this video all right everybody the bars are on clutch cable and brake cables are on um they look pretty good on the bike i'm still having an issue trying to get the brakes bled i've been playing with that for a while now it's getting pretty late all right, everybody, I finally got the Blake brakes bled. Took me a while. I figured out what I was doing wrong, though. It's just something simple, but got everything off back on other than the windshield. I got to go take it for a little test drive. That's about it. I like the way they look. They feel pretty comfortable so far. I'll have to get uh, on the road to test them out soon. Thanks for tuning in, though. Bye for now.